Okay. All right, we 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 we're kind of pressed for time, but we're moving. Let's move through these things in the next. Yes, please. We have okay. twenty minutes, so let's move into the next twenty minutes. So y'all, because we got to be out of here at uh four fifteen, four twenty, um, and well, I just got a slide of dress okay. up. Okay, well I know you wanted to talk about uh somebody that in the news. Who was it? Well, she she played the news people for a fool. Let's put it like that. We'll see what's going on here. Okay, here we go. Story created a national firestorm. Desiree Jennings is the pretty ambassador for the Washington Redskins cheerleading squad who claims she developed a rare neurological disorder called dystonia after receiving a seasonal flu shot, causing dramatic spasms and slurred speech. I used to be able to go sideways, but that goes now too. So you, you used to be able to go sideways? Yeah. Desiree and her husband told me they worried they'd never find a cure. But look at Desiree now. We found her walking normally, playing with her dogs, going shopping, even getting behind the wheel of a car and driving. Hard to believe the woman we've been discreetly observing over the last few weeks is the same woman we met during the height of the flu shot scare. So we wanted to ask her about her remarkable improvement. We've been trying to reach you and you have not been returning our phone calls. Oh, I'm sorry. What's going on? It looks like you've made a complete recovery. Uh, well, I don't want to say complete recovery. I still have a lot of cognitive. cognitive. First of all, when I seen that bitch walking backwards, I did. I say she either had done been hit by hit by some by another dick. <laughs> she had done been hit by some black dick, and they got her ass spinning around in a circle like that. <laughs> Cause this got to be a lie. It got to be a lie. <laughs> it got to be a lie. Uh, Let's move past her. We got to get to the stuff that we said we were going to talk about now. Craig, you don't want to talk about white. I don't people. want to talk about her. That's white people. Mm mm. Telling a lie. Mm -mm. <laughs> they do that all day long. Okay, well, come on. Oh, that looks nice. You like it? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Then, Craig, which one did you want to talk about? Let's get to Billy Porter. All right. Oh, well, that's what on. you want that's to talk about. Yes, oh, let's okay. get to that. Here we, Here go. we go. Come on, let's Billy go. Porter. Oh shit, Craig, wait a minute. Craig, wait. Go back to that. Go back to Craig, the first. Wait. Craig, wait a minute. I want y'all to look at that Craig, bottom row. Of tea. I need you to wait a minute. Hold on. That bottom you row of tea. Me. Craig, wait. That bottom row of tea. Craig, wait. Now, how are you going to fix the top row? Craig, we, uh, we, no, Craig, wait. Now, how are you going to fix the top Craig, row? Craig, you have to wait. Where did you get those pictures? <laughs> and completely <laughs> ignore the bottom row. Craig, where did you get those pictures? Girl, that bottom row is looking like George Washington. But Craig, Remember how George Washington had those wooden teeth? Craig, wait. Please. <laughs> George, George Washington had them wooden teeth. Craig, wait. Girl, like. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, wait. <laughs> Maybe he ran out of money before he got to that bottom row. Is that when he was are getting? We, listen, is that when he was getting those six cent oh checks? My God. Craig, are we reading? Are, are you reading Billy based off her, of her looks or what she was in the news for? Okay, okay, well let's get to what she was in the news for. But so I that's not even that. what he was in the news. That ain't what he was in the news <laughs> for. So, I mean, how you how you wear all those beautiful gowns at those red carpet events and you don't get to that bottom row of teeth? Oh. Dear Lord. But anyway, Billy Porter is uh, portraying the late, great James Baldwin. Yes. In a biopic. And he's uh, co-writing it and he's starring in it. And he has no clue what Billy Porter, I mean, uh, what James Baldwin stood for. Now, for those of you who may not know, James Baldwin was a homosexual. And he used his literature. And as I said to you many weeks ago, that the queer, the black queer community really contributed a lot to black culture. Zora Neale Hurston, Alice Walker, Langston Hughes, James Baldwin, these all were queer people. Well, Billy Porter said he don't even know what, uh, <laughs> what James Baldwin, uh, his stance was in the 40s, 50s, and 60s on different issues. First of all, James Baldwin wrote openly about being a fag, an F-A-G. He also used his writing to talk about political things, things going on in the world. He talked about white folks the way I do. He said there was no place for the Negro in this country. That's what James Baldwin did. You know, he's, he lived in Paris for a little bit too, like I did. So basically what you're saying is that you could have taken on the role of playing James Baldwin <laughs> and not really for him. I mean, at least they could have called me for some consultation. I mean, they could have sent me a little check. Craig put his bid in. But how did Billy, <laughs> how you how you doing a biopic and you don't know what this man stood for? How you doing a biopic and you're going to say you don't know what's going on over in Palestine? 
it's one thing to not know what's going on in Palestine, but when you take on a project, isn't isn't that part of research? I mean, shouldn't he? Yes. Shouldn't he be re- when I mean, you're doing a biopic? But see, this is what happens when you ain't got no black friends. I mean, Oof. Craig, don't do that. And he people do in the chat black, agree with Craig. He does right? have black friends, Craig. He, he must not have the ones that know about James Baldwin. He friends with Tadri. Who? He friends with Tadri Hall. The one that got all of them white friends too. The one that only hires and casts white people in his videos and stuff. That's the one, tr- the one that only has white girlfriends or boyfriends. The one who got drugged through social media a couple years ago because he put all of the dark skinned people in the back or not in the video at all. That Todrick? That's not true. Oh. Well, Is it? Ed- educate me. Is it? Educate me. That's not true. E- educate me. I'm hoping that that's not true. Educate me. Why were the black queers dragging Todrick before the pandemic? Hello? Is this thing working? Can y'all um can we get some everything co- promotion please? <laughs> <laughs> the tickets are fag fag talk at the Atlanta City City Winery all on sale now. Yeah, because you put that up to refer us. Yes, I got you. Here we go. Fag talk promotion right here. This is listen, if you want to smell like everything, please, girl. <laughs> <laughs> What did Yolanda Adams say? Truth is the light. And use Maddie 20 <laughs> at checkout. That's M A D D I E 2 O, Maddie 20. You can't even do your promotion. Girl. <laughs> Maddie 20. Okay? Maddie 20. That's M A D D I E 20. Click scan, scan the QR code to get your everything perfume <laughs> and use Maddie 20. Also, I need for you to slide over there and make sure that if you want to come out to see us, see us live at the show oh. in City Winery, honey. We have our residency there. Come on out. Get your tickets, honey. Visit www.fagtalk.com or take your phone and scroll across the screen. Girl, and Q- <laughs> Q- QR code. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, now back to Craig. But James Baldwin, listen. <laughs> He was known for writing from a political space. That's what a lot of black <sighs> queer artists did. Even when you think about Jean Michel Basquiat. Wait, that's French. Uh, absolutely. Jean Michel Basquiat. Basquiat. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's do it together. Jean Michel Basquiat. Basquiat. Ooh, that's B A S Q U A I T. That's right. That's right. I'm not as dumb as you think, Craig. I, I never said <laughs> I thought you were dumb. I never said that. <laughs> you didn't have to say it. I never, I never. You didn't I have never to say said it. that. You come over here bloviating around me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never said that you I thought you were blo- dumb. You come over here bloviating. I, I never said that I thought you were dumb. <laughs> but but Basquiat. So like, remember when Chrisette Michelle performed for Trump's inauguration? If you go back and look, that dress that she had on was a Basquiat piece. Uh, Basquiat. And it was some of his. It was like a you know pattern of from a, from a painting he had done. Uh-huh. But the the reason that she thought that it was okay to perform at that inauguration was because she was trying to. She said she was trying to send a message through Basquiat's work because he spoke out about political stuff and da 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 through his art. Now that went over a lot of people's head. Well, a lot of things, even a lot of things that we say, go over a lot of people's head. Correct. When we are, when we're taking a stance, like, cause that pussy asshole earlier said that I, that I should stop being a, think, uh, being a pillar for the community for clout. Mm. Every time I, every time I'm windmilling about our community, I'm standing up against any any types of phobias against us as black people, us as trans people, and black women. <laughs> Bitch, don't play with me. Play with your pussy. Right. You you feel me? And those be the main people that's telling you about standing in your advocacy. But that be somewhere tearing this very the very same people uh, the, who's trying to protect them down. Right. Well, um, somebody in the comments said, "Well, I'm sure Billy Porter was going to research." Can we pull up those tweets, please? Okay. Uh, that I sent because he said in an article that he didn't know this, he didn't know that, and he was just trying to use okay, what he you thought. Okay, you can't prepare for oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you, you can't prepare for that type of thing. Oh, report. absolutely. He basically said in these articles. And that's a quote from him? Uh, yeah. Here, pull it up because I can't see that. Yeah. It, it was, it was, I'm, I'm was not that young. Wait, I still, wait, I still have it in my phone. Okay, well, do it because I can't yeah, let me, let me pull it up in, in, And Mo, don't even try, even with your glasses on. Don't do it. <laughs> do a lot of things, but don't do that. Don't, don't, do, my, don't do my, my eyes like that. Don't do my eyes like that, Maddie. Yeah, he basically said he didn't know <laughs> no, this, he didn't know that, that, and he didn't know what was going on. And 
<laughs> it's just like, well, well. Why so they said, uh, this was in. Well, um, it read it. <laughs> since, don't, since you said don't do your anime. No, I'm good. I'm good. Read I'm it. Good. No, I'm good. It's kind of small. So I don't even want to. I don't. Even, I don't want to butcher nothing. Okay, so you, so you were, you were gonna take this. Uh, I'm a, of this victim. But you don't have to let them know that. It's though. okay. That's we, they that should, should because that, we, that needs to be no, in house. No, no, that needs to be it, it is in house. I. But I was depending on you to read the line. <laughs> I already came forward and said I can't see that far. <laughs> and you was like, I got it. And then I was like, Well, get it then. No, I meant I was gonna put it on the screen. That's what I meant. It was there, but I needed it to be read. <laughs> can, can you read it, please? Yeah. So and uh, this is quoted from him saying this. Yeah, it was in it was in the magazine. It was in the uh, article. Well, you sent it over to Mo, so you should be able to look up what you sent him. I know, but I want to be able to see it. Yeah, I want to be able to see it up close. Okay. So it says in the article when I asked Porter how he plans to navigate Baldwin's relationship with the Palestinian rights movement in the script, given his own support of Israel, given his own support of Israel, he quickly clarifies his position. First and foremost, I'm supportive of a two-state solution. The second thing is, this is not my hill. I am not going to die on it. It's not mine. I'm not D Jewish, nor am I Palestinian. What's going on over there is horrific. What's going, uh, 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 sorry, he said that, it's, it's horrific. Then he goes on to say, the choices that we in America have made are wrong. Please don't make me a poster child for that. So my thing is, if you're not really ready to get into a James Baldwin piece, knowing how he was so politically active, then maybe this isn't the role for you. Maybe you should just direct it but, but, or produce it. But maybe he was, he, he's, he's, he's encouraged because of those six cents checks. Maybe he's doing Can it for a check. Can we talk about that, Craig? I've yeah. always wanted to talk about that. Yeah. Because I don't get six cents check, six cents check, but I also don't have those big old jobs that they have. So I don't know that they have those big giant jobs. So maybe there's a difference in the contract. Maybe in their contract, they get all the money up front first and then in the residual part. Well, he didn't save any of his. Girl, I still got some of that money from the T.S. Madison experience locked up somewhere. <laughs> Look, I still got some of that change locked up. I do too. <laughs> but girl, in fact, I still got some of that money from the Queen Supreme Court when we toured. I definitely do too. Locked up somewhere. But we didn't make no money, Craig. You know the people say we didn't do that. We lied. We did all that stuff. Cause somebody from the inside went out there and told them things because, I, cause. They were peeling off stuff at the door, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, uh, what happened? All right. <laughs> but they were the first to run over there to, to Kenneth K to try to tell a story. Oh God. Oh God! Oh Father! All right, let's keep let's keep moving. Yeah, let's go. All right, so look, <laughs> I had pulled this other story. That we might have to come back to this, but I pulled this other story. It was a trans story. Yeah. I, uh, Mo, they asking, do I read super chats? Are, is super chats in the back? But yes, I do read yeah, the super chats. Read look, Mo is over there handling the things over here. What are they saying in the super chats? Come on. Okay, you want me to start from the yeah, beginning? Yeah, come on, let's All see, because right. I don't want to get, I don't, mm -mm, I don't want to think, you know, yes, here we go, let's go. It says, I love you, tears, you don't offend me, it is what it is. That's right, thank you, thank you, damn okay. Damn. Um, unprovoked men will literally taunt, beat, and kill their own fantasy to save face and reinforce manhood that was never questioned. Right? Come on. Um... Oh, so she did. So she had to go to Columbia to have those teeth shaved down. Cool. Oh, her, Kenneth, Kenneth K. Mm. Child, Fivel. Well, come on. <laughs> uh, why does she keep coming from Maddie when nobody sent for her? Right, Liv. Right. Uh, right. I never said that bitch was, was for, for fucking trans. So I never said that. Uh, they said, that, and that it is. We are in a million dollar basement. Multiple. Uh. It said, oh my God, thank you, Leslie Lester. Just because I love you. Just because. Just, just because, because I do. Because I love you. I said Anita Baker. I love you. And I love you. And I love you. 
Baby, she been going out bad, but that's another top. She sure <laughs> is. That's Detroit, though. That's how those Detroit girls Detroit get down. All day. Huh? Aretha. <laughs> okay, come on. So it just said the super sticker. Thank you, Leah it. Ferguson. Thank you. Then Dominic Lee. Uh, Mike S. don't like the gays. We don't support him. I didn't say I support him. I just said he spoke to me when I went into the store. Maybe he couldn't clock you. Let's go. I don't be getting clocked a lot. So I can tell listen, you this is Craig, you're so smooth operator. Hey. He's a smooth operator. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Harmony. Yes indeed. Listen, just because you like Sade, you can't have her. Um, John Long said, I think, see, here's, listen, I'm not, can you read that, Craig? I'm not going to do it. John says, I think cis women are jealous of trans women, some, some, jealous of trans women because the vast majority of cis women can't take it up the butt. Oh. And men more and more are enjoying anal. I didn't say that. Now that's not how you spell anal, but yeah. that's okay. But I just don't, I didn't say that, so don't take this and be like, because this I don't need this being in there. Like TSA. Right, right. These are John Long's opinions. Thank you, John Long. Come on, let me get out of that mode for that okay. heavy in there. Right. Um, I am a Taurus. Oh, and Next I am, one. and I am a October Libra. <laughs> okay. Then a super another super sticker was. Thank you, Jay Bellini. Then Nikita. Nikita, you said I'm a Libra, October 1st. That's why I understand. I vibe and receive all content. Because who wrong? Right. Okay. Then we have. Oh, yeah. they say Siri play Nuck if you bug. Well, uh uh. <laughs> Hold on, because she may start playing She's going to start playing that. Okay. Then we got. <laughs> Craig, are you going to read that? Billy Porter should not have the teeth of a 60 year old white man, white British man. Being that rich, well, he ain't rich. Yes, he is. Chris. Billy Porter. Not if he had to move out of his house and he was having. Listen. All right. Are there any more super chats? Yeah. 